Welcome back to iastack. In the previous video, I have shown you that how you can uh, hide the submit button or any button when you click on it. So I have shown you a real use case that maybe you want to submit some data to backend server and while the data is taking some time to come back from server, you may want to hide the button so that you could avoid the accidental clicks on the button to avoid multiple submissions. So that was one approach to handle that uh, problem. But uh, in this video, I will show you the second uh, solution that is also very simple and quick. So instead of hiding the button, I would simply uh, disable the button for you. So before doing that, let me show you what I have done so far. So let me add some text here and hit the submit button. You can see that when you hit it, it will uh, hide the button and it will show you a text in place of the button and after four seconds it will revert everything and it will reset the form so now i will uh, use the processing property instead of hiding the button i will use it to disable it so here simply i will add the disabled and it would be disabled only if it is processing and we don't need this one and here i want to add conditional text so by default it will say submit if processing is true then we will show please wait and if not then show submit okay now let's try it and hit the submit button you can see that it is now showing please wait but uh, the button does not look like a disabled button so let's see if we really added the disabled attribute or not so let's try it again you can see that disabled attribute is the attribute is there but it does not look like the disabled button for that we have to design it in that way so in the sas i will add the disabled directive a uh, disabled selector and i will add the background color to gray and the text color maybe dark gray so let's try it and now click on that now you can see if it is disabled then it will gray the button but we also want to change the cursor pointer to not allowed not allowed now let's try it again now if you hover on it you can see a cursor not allowed is also visible that uh, uh, makes more sense now so i hope that this video is useful for you if you have any questions then please leave them in the comment section and please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for, for all of my upcoming videos and also please share this video with your friends thanks for watching see you next time